So I'm on my way up to Denver. I just got here. There's a peaceful protest going on at 11 a.m. at the state capitol. And it's against the invasion in Ukraine. And I'm a Ukrainian American and I grew up right outside of New York City. And I didn't speak English until, you know, well into um, sort of grammar school or elementary school. And my whole life, I would sing the Ukrainian national anthem, which is Shenov Madlo Ukraina, which translates to Ukraine has not yet perished. And I was thinking a lot about the words on the way up to this protest. They've never really been as poignant as they are now, as my cousins and my family fight for their freedom in Ukraine. And I hope that you'll think about the words a little bit. So Shenov Madlo Ukraina, Nislava, Nivolya. It's based on a patriotic poem that was written in the 1800s. And it translates to, Ukraine has not yet perished, nor its glory, nor its freedom. And our people will fight because they want to preserve their culture and their language. And it's just devastating for all of us. So I hope that you're willing to write to your congressmen. I hope you're willing to write to your respective uh, country leaders to bring support to Ukraine. They don't expect anyone to fight this war for them, but they need help. They need ammunition and they need pressure on Russia. And for those of you that have been watching the news a lot, I'm sure many of you are hearing people chant in the background in Ukraine, Slava Ukraini, Heroyam Slava. And what that translates to is glory to Ukraine and glory to the heroes. Please stand in solidarity with our Ukrainian people. They need your help.